Hey guys, well welcome back to Allotment Diggers. Got a few things to show you today. Um, we're going to be putting um, all the uh, traps out for the slugs and the um, the wasps um, today. I'll show you these the, these um, traps, and I'll tell you what we put in them in a moment. We're also um, going to be um, putting some cucumbers into the front greenhouse and we're going to be doing, um, re, um, planting on a load of chilies and peppers so this is all to come in the video so uh, let's get started and let's show you me actually um, faffing about with the um, with the slug traps and the wasp traps so let's show you what, what we what, what where we're going to put them and uh, what we're putting them hi guys well you join me down here today I'm gonna have a bit of a party pack of um, beer, no particular beer, but um, this is the beer what we got. Anyway, we're going to have a bit of a party, I'm going to get a few of my, my mates drunk and hopefully we're going to kill them all. Oh, I'm gone. You didn't think um, I was going to drink this beer, did you? No, this beer is for the, the slugs. And, uh, my coffee is what I drink. I say I don't drink, guys. Now, there's a lot of Irishmen on this allotment today crying. They would have been crying if I would have picked the others. I was going to pick up some Guinness, but uh, this worked really well last time, this Boddington's. Wait, which way to open it? Well, we're having a bit of a... God, it's going everywhere. Okay, so this ain't going to plan, but something there for you. Something there for you. He's great this, and go, we go, won't make that mistake again. Uh, top that up a bit more. Right, you know what, well guys, that's, there's a bit of uh, beer went in that then. So this is a life. Right, so we're going to put these little um, traps in where my, um, where my strawberries are. Um, we have got another load of these. They're in the shed there, but I've buried them. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to dig a few more out in a moment. And uh, we're going to do a few more of these. I say there's 10 cans there. And uh, we've got these ones as well. I'll show you these ones. Now these what? Oh God, these ones. You fill the bottom. You screw them up like like that, and you hang them from your trees. So, yeah, we've got the old nine yards here. So anyway, I'm going to get cracking. We're going to get these into the uh, strawberry beds now. But before I do that, I'm going to have another drink of coffee here. Yep, yeah. a lot of blokes on here crying watching me doing this. They said they can't watch. Uh, <laughs> but um, yeah, apparently Boddington's it works really well. So let's go and sort these out and I'll be right back, folks. So.
Well, that's number one. So there you go, eight bear traps there for the slugs, um, hopefully we'll get a few more strawberries this year and um, ten bear traps hopefully do the, do the job that I've bought them for them to do anyway. Right so we're just filling these up with some bear, we'll take another couple of these cans over to the ones that are in the orchard and we'll top them up as well. But these are going on the on the trees and it should keep all the uh, the wasps keep the wasps off the uh, off the apples so that's what we're doing get another can so I'm gonna set up over there oh, set up over there guys I'll be right back So, we've got nearly all of them. Well, we've got them all primed anyway. Uh, I could do with putting a couple more around the, the trees. I have got another another six of these little um, wasp traps. But as you can see, they're all been topped up with, uh, with the beer. It won't be long before they start to do the job, which I've got them there for anyway. So there you go, we've got them in, and I assure you they will work. They worked last year. I, I wish I'd put the um, the wasp traps on the, the trees a lot earlier than I did last year. However, uh, this year we've put them there and so far there's no damage at all to the um, to the apples. Um, the wasps are absolutely hammer them. And what they're after is um, the sugars, basically, and the flies do the same thing and uh, you end up with um, really terrible looking um, apples and what have you but so far so good everything's really doing really well the fruit's looking really good so that's a, a that's something um, I'm pretty happy with um, as for the, the strawberries well we've uh, got these um, slug traps in and again um, the, the the fruit's starting to ripen now and uh, we took a punnet yesterday, have a look well, at this. Go. That's uh, the first punnet you've seen, uh, but I've had three punnets bigger than that. Um, and these are the the third, actually no, there's a fourth lot, a fourth lot of strawberries. And um, well, we're starting to get a bit, uh, 
sick of them now but there's only so many strawberries you can eat however I'll find some room for these later on and uh, we've been picking them as we crop pass them all the time so basically we probably have had about five or six punnets which is a probably um, equivalent to about I say 12 pound of um, 12 pound of strawberries so far which is not bad going anyway I thought I'd show you these strawberries uh, like I say these are the first ones you've seen but my belly's seen hundreds of them literally <laughs> so yeah we've, we've, uh, we've had a few of punnets actually these strawberries so far and um, they taste really nice as well they've got like a perfumey um, smelling taste to them absolutely wonderful so uh, yeah we, we we've um, basically sorted the, oh, the, the, the fruit trees and the um, strawberries out so the next thing was to, to plant a couple of um, cucumbers now I acquired some um, planters uh, as a bloody fly it's just landed on the the lens let's <laughs> just finger uh, it's gone sorry about that guys the fly just landed on the lens then or on the the cap so where was we? Yeah, I acquired some um, plant um, plant pots with um, the drip trays. Uh, every now and again, like I say, I go down um, Lumbers Lane um, near Clifton, and the scallies throw a lot of uh, of these planters up the embankment, and I go and pick them all up, and I I use them to grow my tomatoes in. I've, um, I've I found uh, I think there's about 18 square ones last about three or four months ago. And I found these these round ones a couple of month, a couple of weeks ago with the trays. So uh, yeah, it's always wise to to look on the side of the roads when you're driving. Um, Terry King uh, has great success with that, and he's always coming back with loads of compost. And uh, I bet they think uh, he's, he's growing some wacky back at home <laughs> with all that compost. But um, no, he picks it up off the side of the road. I should have took the, um, the, the the soil what it was with, what was in the pots, but I didn't have enough room, so I just I just took the um, the plant pots. So what I'm saying is, um, I've got six plant pots here with the with a drip tray. So this is I'm going to show you now me doing some of these um, cucumbers. So let me show you doing one or two of them, and then I'll show you where we put them in the greenhouse. We're going to be putting a bit of a framework up in there to so they can climb up and um, then the, the fruits can dangle down so well okay Here just we go. Uh, top these um these pots up with um some mother earth um, clover compost and um some um of the the verve um multi-purpose uh these are about 20 litre buckets, so there's, uh, there's about 120 litres of uh, compost there. And what we're going to do, we're going to be putting some canes in in a moment. And uh, then we're going to be putting um, the cucumbers into these. Uh, I've got an assortment of cucumbers. Well, basically, we're going to be probably do a couple of each of the ones I've got. We've already got some cucumbers in, but these ones, well... Um, this, this, these, these six. We're going to stick some canes in, and uh, but basically, what we do, we just stick the cane in, and, uh, and then they can grow up. That basically, it's what we'll do. And we'll put a, a cane across the top to all anchor them in as well. So that's when we get them in the greenhouse. But the first things first is to to, to get the canes in. I'm going to have to cut a couple of these canes down, they're a little bit too big. We're doing these cucumbers, these are called Bangkok. Uh, I don't know if you can see that. But first, before we do that, I need to get some velcro. So now, 
very dry this so we're going to be giving them a good watering in, in a minute but, uh, what we're going to do is uh, tie this up Yeah, it's good stuff this Velcro. Just cut it. We've actually got um We've actually got them here, little cucumbers already on these, so it's just a matter of watering them in. I will be giving them a, a good drink of comfrey tea as well, these. But I'm going to be doing two of these. Uh, the, the roots, this this is still damp, but it's uh, it really needs a good drink of water. So these are the cu cucumbers that are called uh, Bangkok, okay? Leave the labelling so I know what they are. So let's go and get another couple of varieties. So, like I said, the, hopefully um, the, um, the cucumbers will uh, they, they do really well there. And uh, we can we water them from the bottom in that um, them drip trays, so they're perfect. I couldn't believe it when I saw them. Uh, we will be putting um, some tomatoes in front of them shortly. Uh, however, um, the reason why we're not done it then is because we needed to pot on all the chilies and all the peppers. So here's a couple of clips of me doing a few of the chilies and peppers, and then I'll show you all a lot all together in the front greenhouse. So this is that ambassador compost what we've been using. Uh, a mate of mine just drops me a few of these over every now and again. So I've got my pot, and uh, what I'm going to do is just snip the bag, and uh, we're going to use some of this stuff. Go. And it goes. Dark soil. What I will need is another pot to actually sink in there, so just quickly get another pot. So what I'm gonna do, what I should have done in the first place, take a bit of this soil out. about the right height of the pot. What I'm going to do now, just fill in around the edges. And that's so we can push that down. It's a bit messy this, but uh, what we do, take that out the centre. The roots are just starting coming out of this now, see, as you can see, they're absolutely wonderful. It's just a matter of dropping in. Uh, we're going to put a, a cane in to, to hold so it holds up. We're going to just move it away from the, um, the main stem. I 
I've actually got this Velcro here which I'm going to be using as well so what I'll do is I'm just going to cut a piece off and all you do just the furry side inwards and it's just a matter of putting it around the around this stem and around the cane so what we'll do as well I'm going to put um, a plastic pot on the top of this so I don't take my eye out would have been better if I lifted the, um, the old thing up so you can see a little bit clearer but, uh, we'll get a, a, a pot now hang on I'm just going to stick the pot over the top and that'll protect my eyes. We'll give them a good watering in in a moment and away we go. This is these are the, the five oxhorn that I've just um, planted in um, these new pots. Like I said, we're using Ambassador. I was given a load of compost, so I thought, what the hell, might as well use it. So we've been putting, um, putting these um, peppers and chilies into this. Um, Ambassador multi-purpose compost. We did have six. We give old Jimmy one of these, and uh, these now will go in the soil. Well, let's have a look in here now. See what's happening. Uh, as you can see, we've got six cucumbers. We've got two mini munch. We've got two gardeners. Um, oh, market more, and we've got two Telegraph F ones. So there's six of them. We might stick a seventh one in here. And then we're just going to put a row of um, tomatoes in here. Now I've got these called Giant Miranda. Um, we have got lots of uh, tomatoes here, but I'm not going to use these. I'm just going to give these away. We've got Sweet Marillion. They're gardeners. They're, no, they're Alicante. Um, there's some more over there, Roma. So um, we're going to be shifting these out. But all these, all these um, chilies here will be going on this table very shortly. There's more chilies here as well cucumbers there that one needs to go out these um, um, pumpkins uh, butternut squash needs to go out uh, a couple of tomatoes that uh, Mike from potting along give me the call black opal we would be planting them as well and um, these are the last of the um, yellow flag irises which we've grown from seed I will be putting them out into the beds as well so this will become clear uh, very shortly however the next job we've got this far we you know the, the next job's these here these are the muscle butter leeks and uh, as you can see they're almost pencil size these guys and uh, we'll be picking all the good ones out and all the the crappy ones well we'll give away but uh it's, you know it's, it's like bloody grass in it look at them i did they've gone crazy these so as you can see there's some really good um, leaks there and they need to go out as soon as possible and um, well we'll be preparing the bed for them uh, tomorrow morning and I'll show you me doing them how I plant my me, um, me leaks out but uh, yeah they definitely need to go out these are some grapes this is my grapevine uh, we will be cutting the other one down uh, so lots, lots of grapes all the way along there um, it's only two years old I think yeah I think it's two years old we will be taking a cutting off this for the other greenhouse um, I put Jay's fluid on the bugger and I was washing the windows and uh, it's killed it so there's a lesson learnt don't spill Jay's fluid on the, the on the roots of the um, the grapevine, this is a black Hamburg by the way, so what we'll just do, we'll just take a couple of cuttings, stick them in the ground, but as soon as they root, we'll stick one in the corner, and uh, yeah, it'll be going along the roof here, and along the side there, and the reason why we've got it so much of it is to to actually to cut down on the, the light getting into the greenhouse. It, everything in this greenhouse grows um, like, oh, it goes crazy. And um, the plan is if I can just take a bit of the light out of it, it might they might grow a lot better. The tomatoes and everything will fly up here in, in, in about two two weeks' time. You'll be getting tomatoes at the top of where Manny is there, 
and um, <laughs> train. You know that he's been in there for about three or four years now. I don't know where his cap's gone. Um, but people, it wigs people out when they come past. They actually think it's me. Some of them still think it's me in the greenhouse. And uh, you, you get comments like, "Oh, you was on yesterday. I saw you in your greenhouse." Well, no, you saw money. And like I say, it does wig people out. But uh, yeah, everything seems to be doing wonderfully in here. And um, like I say, we've got lots of um, chilies. Um, we've got a um, basket of fire. Uh, oh, we've got all sorts. I'll show you in more detail with the um, with the cuc with, with the um, the chilies once we've got the tomatoes in and I think I'm going to put the tomatoes into these buckets because I still only got three aloes for this greenhouse so they might go into these um, these buckets uh, I mean they've got drip trays as well which is even better so yeah watch this space we'll probably put six of them giant Miranda it down here and all these other tomatoes we're going to scatter around the allotment we're not just going to give every one of them away but uh yeah, we've even got um, cucumbers here we need to pot on. We've got cucumbers here. There's a look at that cucumber. These are the mini munch as well. So it's a bit bit bedraggled, although it will be. There's no bloody water there. So we're going to stick it in a drip tray underneath there and give it a good salt. We've even got them here as well, cucumbers. We need to get them all, all out. There's some alicante which I'm just going to give away now. And a friend of mine, she's uh, got no no um, no tomatoes. They've let her down. These are just blown in the wind. It's absolutely blowing a gale today. Uh, you can't you can't. It's blowing from the blowing from the the west, and the the trees are stopping it. Oh oh, little um, gold cap. Oh, it's buggered off. Oh, hang on, what's that one there? Oh, it's that one there's a coulter. Anyway, you can hear the wind blowing, so I'm not going to um, point the camera into the wind. But yeah, a little coulter on the feeders there. And uh, some spanners. I need to put some of them seed balls um, into, the, into the feeders. There's plenty of um, seeds there, but there's, there's no seed balls. Anyway, as you can hear, that wind's picking up. It's getting stronger and stronger. Um, we've had winds about 40 mile an hour so far on the allotment, so it's uh, been battening everything down to make sure it doesn't get blown away. So with that, let's get back to what we were doing. So, um, yeah, we've got quite a lot of different varieties of chilies and peppers. Um, they're all in the drip trays, but them drip trays won't stay there because um, what, what we're going to do, uh, we're going to put, um, I'm going to clear the this side of the middle greenhouse out, and I'm going to put all, a load of these chilies in there. I'm going to have half in here, half in in the front greenhouse as well. So that's um, that's that's the next plan. So um, that's it really for this one. Um, the next thing uh, we will be doing. It's like I say, we'll be putting the tomato, um, sorting the greenhouse out for the the chilies, and uh, we'll be sorting out the um, mussel butter leeks because they've got to go off the table. But before we sort the mussel butter leeks out, we've got to sort take the garlic out. So that's to be the next thing, taking the garlic out. I'll show you uh, all the garlic when we lifted it, and. Um, that's all to come in the next episode, so watch out for that, and I'll see you real soon. So thanks for watching, guys. Goodbye for now.